Hello, my name is Jacob and you are watching The Prepper's Bunker Outdoors. Today I'm going to talk about cleaning, lubricating, assembling and disassembling your bolt carrier group. This video is brought to you by Beach and Tactical, my website. Uh, so please check that out. I make tactical and practical gear, primarily my speed sling, which I believe is the finest on the market. So uh, a lot of people don't realize, I've known actually quite a few people now who are not military who didn't even know that they needed to take this part. It's incredibly important to keep this clean and lubricated for a properly functioning AR-15. And it's very easy to do. You're going to start off by popping out your, uh, this cotter pin here that holds your firing pin in place. That is your firing pin. If you hold this upside down or give it a tap, it will come right out. Next is your cam pin. That is this guy right here. You're going to push the bolt back and then rotate the cam pin from under the gas key and it'll pop right out. Real quick. This is your gas key. This is what uh, get pushes gas uh, against your bolt carrier group here and makes the whole magic happen. And this is your gas key staking. Not that this is a good example of this, but this is bolted on and it should be dented on either side of these bolts more than this to, to keep them from moving because if this comes off, you're up Poop Creek or even if it loosens up. Next, the bolt comes right out, no problem. And finally, we have to pull out our extractor. So we are going to push on the back side of it here to relieve spring tension. And then we are simply going to push this guy out. You can use your firing pin, even though my drill instructors told me not to. All right, and do not lose it. Very important. All right, your extractor comes off. You've got some elastomer, a spring and an elastic, or basically an O-ring here. You can take those off. This all needs to be perfectly clean. Everything needs to be completely and perfectly clean. I use Slip 2000 uh, Carbon Killer because it doesn't stink as bad as Hops Number 9. My wife likes it. And my cap wasn't on all the way, so now it's everywhere. All right. Wow. So... Next up is reassembling, and in the process, we are going to talk about lubrication, all right? Uh, lubricate around the edges of your extractor here. This does move, and then lubricate your pin that goes into it. You're going to put it onto your bolt. You're going to depress the back of your bolt, and you're gonna slide this little guy right in there. Now you can use, for your lubrication, you can use grease or oil. People will argue all day which is better. Um, this is uh, Slip 2000 Extreme Weapons Grease. This is Slip 2000 Gun Lube. Uh, as long as you don't use too much of either and you have them in the right spots, it's not gonna make that much of a difference. Next, you're gonna drop your bolt into your bolt carrier group. And you're going, this is gonna be hard for me to show. You're going to line up the hole in the bolt with the uh, hole in the bolt carrier group right there and you're going to drop your cam pin in. Now your cam pin needs to be lubricated basically everywhere. This is vital. You don't want this getting locked up. It needs to slide freely. All right, drop it right in there. If it does not drop in there, rotate your bolt 180 degrees to the hole on the other side of the bolt and it will drop right in. Next, rotate your cam pin 90 degrees. Push the whole thing forward, take your firing pin, drop it in, and then put your cotter pin in. Um, when I was in the military, you'd have pogues come around and anytime someone had a malfunction, they would take a spray bottle and put multiple squirts of CLP uh, into cleaning, lubricating, protecting uh, oil straight into the person's gun and that would lock it up. It would just basically make a perfect storm of carbon, dirt, sludge, and stuff in that oil that would lock the gun up. So once we're at this point, we're going to take a light coating of oil. We're gonna basically put it everywhere, but we're gonna focus on our wear points, which I will show you. So that's about how much oil I use for the whole bolt carrier group. Once what I've already shown you is already oiled, 
And this is all that I want here, is just this light, nice little coat here. Um, and I'm gonna get in between these locking lugs. And basically, again, you're looking for wear points. This gas key here has wear points along it. It always does. Make sure that they have some oil on them. Um, around the cam pin and the cam pin itself, again, has uh, clear wear on it. Make sure that they get hit with oil. And uh, there you go, you are complete. Again, uh, do not over oil anything on your bolt carrier group. If you get to the point where you have absolutely no reliability, let's say in a firefight, uh, and uh, you think a little bit more oil might help because it's just so dirty, you have three holes here, and you can put a couple drops of oil in these three holes. If that doesn't help, you have a big problem and it's time to start looking at something else. So, there you guys have it. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it is helpful. Um, have a blessed day and I will talk to you soon.